If you've ever had to create a dashboard, a report in Power BI, Tableau, Looker, Click, or anything similar, you may have come across a stage where you get a bit stuck with design, especially when requirements for design and development are really loose from end users or stakeholders. DALI 2 could be a solution. It's created by the people behind OpenAI, so the same people that have um, released the recently popular NLP model ChatGPT. I mean, it's just a way to essentially generate digital art from natural language or just text. So you can see here as we go through the documentation, a bowl of soup that looks like a monster. So these aren't images that have been created before. They're purely created and formed and generated from the text supplied um, to uh, the DALI 2 system. So it can make realistic edits. We can generate realistic, you know, dashboard design. And it's really about how specific we are with our requirements. And we're going to look at some examples in the next section um, on the website as to how we can go about taking these elements of generated art. And we wouldn't use a whole dashboard design from this, most likely. But it may just be that step that we require to foster some creativity um, and make something that turns out to be really attractive um, and really practical. So we'll jump over to the web and um, I'll show you how to get set up and start generating that digital art. So first of all, we need to go to openai.com forward slash DALI2. Um, and that should take us to where we need to log in or sign up. So when you do that, um, you either logged in, logged in or signed up, we can go ahead and start generating things. Now you see here, you have a surprise me option and that's just showing us the text that we would be required, a stern looking owl dressed as a library in digital art to generate something like this. There's lots of keywords, you know, maybe like gradient background, synth wave, but I'm just going to show some purely um, arbitrary examples that I've come up with to show you just how good this can be when we're quite specific. So a robot playing chess in a suit while eating a hot dog. Um, it's come pretty close there. Potentially, we don't have all of those elements, but we could potentially change that to pizza. But you can see, as I've just got suit, um, that description is potentially a bit too agnostic. It's not as concrete as we'd like. So if I type in tuxedo rather than suit, just to give you an example as to how all this pieces together. The first example, um, we've got something, you know, equivalent to what we asked for. So that's how that's how specific we sort of need to be, if not more. Um, it's not going to develop a dashboard based on data for us. Will give us some ideas for artwork, design, backgrounds, iconography, and so on when we're looking to create a, a Power BI report, for example. So if I type in data set dashboard, like I say, we're not very specific. It's nothing here that looks great, unfortunately, but it may give you an idea as to even this example here, as to how to potentially segment things or lay them out. You can download it very easily once you've signed up. It's free of charge uh, just by hitting that download button. And if we type in variations and it starts to learn about the design that we like, we get a few other suggestions. And as you can see here, it starts to become something that looks a lot more mature. You know, that sort of card soft UI layout, we could potentially do something with that. So now let's be a bit more specific and see what we get. So maybe say data dashboard with a large line graph or line chart, whatever you may like. And here we've got an gradient background. So let's see what it comes up with here. If we click generate, we're going to get something um, that may be sort of similar to what we've asked for. And as you can see, we do have that gradient background. The first example, um, we may be able, be able to download this, get a full screen, get some more ideas and let, you know, get some creativity going. But it's important to remember when we're developing dashboards, quite often we want the design to be similar to more polished and long standing things like website layout UI or web application user interface design. So maybe I type in website navigation page with a line chart. And as you can see here, this is actually would be something that we could potentially, you know, we could either take the block design, we could take the certain um, annotation elements here. We could use this as a navigation layout with some data. So it starts to become a lot more powerful when maybe we, we decide to think out of the box slightly. So here I'll say database dashboard with a modern design and line chart. Again, making a bit more specific, but we could definitely be a lot more specific in what we asked for. I just wanted to give you sort of 
tools and know-how to start doing this for yourself. So as you can see here, in potentially the first option, there's something that, you know, little core elements that we could take and manipulate across into um, our own dashboards that we develop. So lastly, like we said, we'll take something that typically has slightly nicer design than, uh, than dashboards, so web application. Look at icons, navigation, menus, and charts, and let's see what we get. So potentially the last option here, the fourth onto the right, is quite a good option. You know, we have cards, we have ideas as to how we could potentially segment a dashboard and make use of space. Again, we could look at variations. However, I implore you to try this yourself see what you can come up with and you never know it may be very helpful when you're developing a data a dashboard or application where your end users aren't very good at giving you briefs as usual like comment subscribe and share thank you